we're very excited to be presenting this sale coming up, a love letter to Beirut. It's going to be taking place in London, April 23rd, and we open the exhibitions on April 19th to the 23rd. We've had this idea of curating a themed sale for a while and the idea of Beirut came uh, a while ago when we started talking to certain clients and collectors in the region. The sale has about 50 plus works by a variety of artists, artists from not only Lebanon but from Iraq, from Syria, from Palestine, from Egypt, artists that were heavily influenced by Lebanon. I think it's important to come back in time and explain why Lebanon and Beirut especially was so important in the 60s and a place of extraordinary buoyancy for artists. It was artists. The, go the golden age. The golden age. And many people ask why Beirut, why the 60s? I think at a time where the region was going through a lot of political and social change, revolutions, coups, a lot of the artists and intellects and academics gathered in, in Beirut, which was a safe heaven at the time. Beirut always had this element of freedom that others didn't really offer. And still today, I think. Up until to today, degree. absolutely, absolutely. So May, what are your personal favorites in this themed sale? Well, I have to say, being Egyptian and from Egypt, one of my personal favorites is obviously the Mahmoud Said. It's a lovely work from 1951. Uh, entitled Maison Aitanit. It's a painting that was gifted to the Qayyim family, friends of Mahmoud Said. And basically, he used to escape the heat in Egypt and go to Beirut and go to specifically Aitanit, which is in the Beqa Valley. And he painted this lovely image of their house in Aitanit. And I think it's a, it's a beautiful example of Mahmoud Said and his landscapes. Another example that I really, really like and I really enjoy from the sale is a work by Arif al Rais entitled The World of Petrol, painted in 1973-74. And you see his capacity to show the depth of, of what it means, this world of petroleum, the, the carnage, yet also the amazing fruition it brought to a lot of the countries like Iraq, like the GCC countries as well. It's particularly special because it was exhibited in the 1974 Baghdad Arab Art Biennale, the first Arab Art Biennale and first Biennale in Baghdad. And Arif al is seeing that he's now being represented in the main pavilion in Venice, curated by Adriano Pedrosa. So to have this work with us and to have him also being part of the Venice Biennale, it's just, it, it couldn't be a better moment in time. So those are my two big exciting ones. And what about you? One of the most exciting work in the sale, which I was lucky enough to see in Dubai last week, is the Helen Khal, untitled from 1983. Probably one of the largest Helen Khals to come to market. And the color palette, these blue hues and yellows are extraordinary. And, and for one of the great abstract artists from the region who's painted these beautiful abstract landscapes of Lebanon and her the, the, the intensity of the emotions that she felt during that time there is, is, is portrayed and experienced through these paintings and I absolutely love it. And, and I think what's fascinating for me for artists like Helen Khal and Etel Adnan is they were great colorists, they were important colorists and it was really about the emotions that the colors conveyed. Uh, they were abstract artists, I think abstraction is a given in the West but in the region it, it had maybe a different significance or a different, there was a different approach to it. And you have two wonderful female artists who I see as radicals because the way they approach geometry, Etel Anan is, is the perfect example of an artist that balances like color theories with sort of perfect geometry and, and creates this sort of synergy between both of them and, and it's absolute perfection in Helen Khal with sort of the emotions that the landscapes of Lebanon convey to her and, and there's a deep sense of personal uh, feelings and, and, and experience in her works. We've been discussing this idea of a themed curated sale for years now and we kept bouncing off ideas and then starting to speak about it with some of our great collectors in the region, the idea of Beirut and Lebanon came to us and everyone was on board and that's very exciting. It is super exciting and it's the first time I think we have a curated sale in the Middle East 
and we sort of wanted to show how a lot of Arab artists and Middle Eastern artists had used Beirut as their playground, as their canvas and as an inspiration and how Beirut was able to allow them to develop their artistic career and their professional career. I think it's so wonderful for us to have it all in one auction and one sale. We're so excited that it's going to be happening this April and uh, we can't wait. We can't wait, exactly.